everyone. Welcome to the Give Education uh, Getting Started webinar. We are going to wait just one or two more minutes as there are people still joining, uh, but we're really excited today. So in a couple minutes, we'll get started with everything. Uh, and uh, we want to thank you for joining. everyone we are going to go ahead and get started um i want to uh welcome you all to the give education training webinar um my name is dawn and i'll be leading you through today's presentation i do have a few housekeeping items to note before jumping in uh first i wanted to let you all know that the webinar will be recorded and posted in the toolkit on the give education site under the resources tab uh, and then you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across questions, uh, you know, as they arise. And we'll get to those uh, after the webinar today. Um, so I want to introduce, we actually have um, two additional um, uh, presenters on the line. Carrie and Josh are here. Um, they're both working with Alumni Nations uh, to really make sure that this giving day is, is awesome for you all. Um, so hello, Carrie and Josh. Well, hello. Thank you so much, Don. It's nice to be here, and we're very excited to roll out a fantastic program. Um, I just wanted to formally take a minute to introduce myself. Uh, I am with Alumni Nations, and I am helping organize and orchestrate and be a resource to any of the educational institutions that have any questions or need anything. So I wanted to make sure that you all knew that I was here. We're looking forward to a fantastic uh, Give day, a giving day across the country. And if there's anything that you need, you can always email me at give, G I V E, dash education at alumninations.com. And my email address is currently listed there on the screen so you can see it. But we, I hope that, and Don will show us here in just a few minutes, the toolkits that we've assembled for you on the site are quite comprehensive. And I'm hopeful that if there's any questions that you have that the toolkits will be able to assist you with that but I am always here uh, honestly any any time any day uh, and you can also contact me via telephone at 402-278-2703 but I wanted to take a minute as well to introduce uh, Josh who is currently with the Central High Foundation and Josh has had a number of experiences working with giving day programs for his educational organization and I wanted him to share just a little bit about how these giving days have been beneficial to his organization and perhaps some of the best practices that he has seen. Josh can I turn this over to you and can you tell us just a little bit about your experience with a giving day and what it looks like and how beneficial it's been for you? Yeah, absolutely. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm glad we have quite a few attendees on the call today. So this is exciting. Um, as Carrie mentioned, my name is Josh Busey, and I am the Creative Director and Database Administrator for the Omaha Central High School Foundation. And I was trying to think, I believe this is our seventh consecutive Giving Day participation of some kind, and we've had a lot of success with it in the past. Um, in the past and now um, with my coworker Ali, um, we kind of create campaigns that are focusing on uh, preparation leading up to the actual day of giving, um, the day of giving itself, and then kind of wrapping up after the day of giving is over. Um, and so uh, kind of talking about just touching on a few things, uh, we've had a lot of success with our giving days in the past. Um, and here at the foundation, I believe that we've kind of conditioned our donors and alumni to become familiar with our day of giving. Um, they kind of think, you know, springtime, it's kind of in their mind now um, to kind of keep an eye out for it in the mail when we send a postcard out. 
Um, so, I mean, when we first started, though, of course, there was an education piece to kind of get people to understand kind of what the Giving Day was, um, why we were even doing it in the first place. Um, but I feel like at, at this point now, um, we have quite a few of our donors who are very familiar with the concept of it um, and look forward to it every year, to be entirely honest. Um, and we've been pretty successful, as I mentioned. Um, we kind of use certain tools and things to leverage people's excitement about giving and participating in this giving day. Uh, so first off, I think our giving day is all about our small donors who may only give 10 or $20. It's a very accessible starting point for a lot of people to jump in and participate. Uh, and so they feel like they are able to participate. Um, secondly, we try to seek out a large donor uh, who is willing to match donations on our giving day. And because we do this, uh, people feel like their donations are literally going twice as far um, as like we like to say, uh, you're doubling your impact because your donation is being matched. Uh, this uh, giving day is usually online. Um, and so it allows people not only across the United States, but even around the world to participate if they want to. Um, and so for those people, we're in Omaha, Nebraska. And so for those people who no longer live in Omaha, uh, maybe can't attend in-person events, but still love the school, this is an opportunity for them to participate and stay engaged. Uh, and finally, I think because we know our constituent base so well, uh, we've kind of built marketing strategies around that that we think are engaging to our alumni. So we try to use a lot of pictures of students, um, and quotes from students, from our teacher grants and other things that people who are directly impacted by your donation dollars, uh, people love that kind of stuff. And so Giving Day is a really great opportunity to showcase why donating to your organization is so important and why it matters. Um, and while it may seem kind of uh, daunting or stressful to get started, I think the most important thing is to just kind of to do it because um, we felt like you know that first year we maybe had decent participation but every year after you're kind of building on what you've done in the past um, and as Carrie mentioned uh, there's some fantastic toolkits available to you for this give education day that will really help get you started um, and so I think this is just a tremendous opportunity. Um, and I'm also available if you have any questions um, or if you wanna bounce ideas off of me. Um, like I said, I believe this is our seventh year doing this. So um, we kind of have a strategy down of what we like to try to do, um, but things continue to evolve. Uh, but for us, uh, Giving Day has become a pretty important uh, part of our fundraising campaign for the entire fiscal year. So that's a little bit about me and uh, excited to be here. Wonderful. And Josh, thank you so much. And really quick, Josh, can you tell us, like, we I know we have some exciting news to announce with regard to the participation prizes that we have uh, landed for our participants who choose to uh, participate and give Education Day. How do prizes uh, help you engage your donors do do you find that the donors are more excited when they have the opportunity to know that their money could be boosted or that their organization could win a prize do they add value i think so yeah um i think any any kind of incentive to get people when they think that their dollar is going further than just their simple donation i think that inspires or gets people excited to get involved um yeah we've done in the past um some of the giving days that we've been a part of have had participation prizes, whether it's an hourly prize of some kind or um, uh, whoever is the uh, highest achieving uh, organization for a time period, you know, we'll get a prize. It, there's just little tools or, you know, incentives uh, to try to get people to participate. And absolutely, I think people want to know it's a competition for some people, like they like that competitive side of things. Uh, but overall, yeah, absolutely. People like that kind of stuff. 
Great, makes it sort of fun. Don, thanks for the time to allow me to bring Josh and the Central High School Foundation in on this call. I think that it really helps organizations, given that this is the first national um, give education across the country uh, type of event. I think it, I really wanted the opportunity to share with the other organizations a couple of success stories and why this is important um, to, to put all you can into it and have some fun and engage your donors. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, you know, and Mighty Cause is just, we're really excited to partner with you all for this inaugural event. Um, and we're, you know, obviously looking forward to providing technical support to everyone as they gear up for the big day. Uh, so, you know, I also wanted to add in, you know, if anyone does have technical questions or need anything um, as you're getting ready, um, you know, our support team, the Mighty Cause support team is here to help as well. Um, our email is support at mightycause.com. Uh, I will have a, there's a, a full support slide at the end of the stack. Um, that way, you know, you don't feel like you have to write everything down now. Um, but I do want to just give a little bit of background on Mighty Cause um, in case those on the uh, webinar are not familiar with us. Um, Mighty Cause is a, uh, we're a fully functioning organization fundraising suite that uh, a lot of organizations use uh, all year round to raise money for their causes. We've been around since about 2006, and we're actually one of the first platforms to host Giving Days. So, you know, we've been doing this event for a long time, and again, we're really excited to um, host Give Education and partner with Alumni Nations this year. So with that, let me jump into the agenda. Um, we are going to be going over some of the basics for the Give Education Giving Day. Um, we're going to walk through getting started by registering and customizing your organization page on the platform. Uh, and then at the end, we'll do a Q&A session. Um, so, you know, if you do have a question while I'm presenting, uh, just type it into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel and we'll definitely make time for it at the end. Okay, so Give Education Basics. So Give Education uh, is hosted by Alumni Nations and it's going to take place on March 24th. It's a 24 hour giving day that runs from midnight to midnight um, central time. Early giving starts on March 1st uh, and registration is required for this giving day and any 501c3 organization or school with uh, an NDES code are welcome to participate. Uh, for organizations that are not already an Alumni Nations client, there's a $49 registration fee to complete registration uh, this year. So what is a giving day? Um, Josh sort of touched on it, um, but a giving day is basically a 24-hour online fundraising marathon that really aims to bring people together uh, to support a specific community, a cause, or uh, a space like education. Um, the Giving Day hosts, um, in this case, Alumni Nations, they organize the event and, and rally organizations to raise funds for their causes. Um, organizations participating in a Giving Day really utilize the resources and tools provided by the hosts to reach out to their supporters, um, communities, you know, to solicit donations, secure fundraisers, and, and really grow their networks. So, um, a Giving Day is just, it's a really unique campaign um, that provides participants that opportunity to capitalize on the sense of urgency. You know, you get 24 hours to raise the most money for your cause. Um, giving Days are just a really exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer um, -peer fundraisers, uh, to spread the word about your organization and your mission. Um, and again, you know, we'll touch on it throughout the webinar, just raising money for your cause. Um, the limited time frame it just it just really creates that sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to and then um the prizes available like josh and carrie mentioned just give you those fresh messaging opportunities um, to help incentivize uh, your donors as well so what does my school or organization need to do so to participate in give education um, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so once you're registered, you can customize your profile on the Give Education site and, and really start planning for your campaign. Um, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And then once early giving has started on March 1st, uh, you can really start promoting your campaign. Um, and of course, you'll, you'll want to push the donation ask on the actual giving day, uh, which is March 24th. So getting started. 
So first things first, if you haven't already done so, um, you're gonna need to register your organization for uh, the Give Education Giving Day. Um, registration is free if you're an existing Alumni Nations client. And to register, um, all you need to do is go to give-education.com uh, and click register. Uh, on the registration page, you can search for your organization or school and create an account if you've never used Mighty Cause before. Um, and then once you take that step, a short registration form will appear. You can fill it out, um, click submit, and um, you'll receive the payment prompt, prompt to um, complete your registration. Uh, and then within 24 hours, you'll receive an email with some next steps to, to really help your organization plan for success. Um, and then after you complete registration, you do have the ability to add additional administrators to your account if um, multiple people are gonna help manage the campaign. And then of course, any questions at all during the registration process, um, please don't hesitate to email um, our support team at support at mightycost.com. So once you've filled out and submitted your registration form, um, you can click on the user icon in the upper right on the Give-Education site. And this will give you access to your organization account um, on Mighty Cause for Give Education Day. Um, your organization account is gonna be the hub of your activity uh, for Give Education. So I really recommend taking some time to get to know your account dashboard um, that appears on the uh, left-hand side of your account. So when you log in, you'll automatically land in your overview section, which is where you'll find um, a to-do list, which outlines some really great next steps that you can take to customize your organization account on the site. Um, you'll also find metrics there, which will really come in handy once you start raising funds. And then under the fundraising section on your dashboard, um, that's where you can go to customize your organization profile by uh, toggling on the edit mode, um, and uh, that includes, you know, include your page metrics, like adding a goal for the giving day, um, which enables a progress bar on your page. Uh, within that fundraising section, you'll also find the checkout flow, which we're gonna talk about in a few slides, as well as matching grants, which um, Josh touched on it, um, but, you know, if you are able to find a larger donor to, um, you know, provide a, a larger matching grant, um, during the Give Education Giving Day, then that kind of, um, you know, just really propels your organization forward in terms of dollars raised and motivating your supporters. So we have built-in matching grant tools that I'll um, touch on later, uh, but um, that, that uh, tool is located within the fundraising section on your dashboard. Um, and then below that section, um, is the reports uh, where you'll be able to preview and export different uh, donation reports. Um, and then lastly, you can manage your organization settings like uh, URL customization and admin control from the settings section on your um, dashboard account as well. So um, jumping into your overall profile for Give Education, um, your, your profile is the face of your organization for the Giving Day. So you're gonna wanna make sure it looks good and represents you well. Um, and just so you know, your profile link is that link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your Give Education page. So, you know, to share your page, just copy and paste that URL into an email or a social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. Uh, and then, you're, as you're going through your to-do list, um, you're going to want to customize your profile to match your organization or school's kind of brand, you know, your colors, imaging, um, et cetera. Uh, you can change your theme color to match your um, logo. Uh, you can upload media to your gallery to add some like visual interest on your page. Uh, and your story or description is really going to be the centerpiece of, of your profile, you know, where donors are, are coming. Um, in your story, you, you know, you can put your mission statement, you can add photos and videos. Um, you can, um, you know, embed videos, uh, YouTube or Vimeo is what we accept. Um, so, you know, people will be able to go to your profile and watch, uh, you know, if you have a little promotional video that you've already put together, they can watch it right there. Um, so this story spot is really where you can go in depth about, about your work, about your school, um, you know, any like student, uh, you know, case studies, things like that, just really make a strong appeal to donors you know, tell them why your organization needs their support and, and show the impact of your work. So, you know, I spend time customizing your profile because really the more work you put into it, your donors are going to see like, if you care, then they'll care. Um, so it's really good idea to um, just, you know, take a little bit of time 
um, here and there as you kind of ramp up for Give Education and, you know, add in your story, add in those videos, just so that when donors do come to your organization profile on Give Education Day, they can see the kind of work you've put into it. They can see exactly what their money's going to and, you know, feel compelled to make a donation. Um, the first thing that you'll want to do when editing your profile is uh, upload your organization's logo. Um, you can use the pencil icon to open up that section for editing. Um, logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit. And the logos on Mighty Cause are the same aspect ratio as many social media sites. So if you, you know, if you use your logo as part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can use that same logo here as well. Um, and you'll want to make sure your logo, you know, doesn't clash with your background image. Um, and then, of course, the next thing you'll want to do is upload a background image. Uh, you can see that the um, background image here is the Hive Drive, and then the pollen is their um, logo. Um, your background image is going to look best if it's mostly text-free, um, and you know it's a strong image that's uh, representative of your organization. Um, Landscape-oriented ori images work best. Um, we do offer a generic gallery of images to choose from. So, you know, if you don't have an image of your own or, um, you know, you're working on getting one, then you can use those, uh, the gallery of images that we have in the meantime. Um, you can also change um, the, the theme color to match your organization's branding. So the theme color, you know, it allows you to pick a consistent color that shows throughout the experience your organization provides supporters. It, um, you know, colors all of your buttons um, and just really kind of um, tightens up the whole page look. Um, it's, it's really easy to set. Uh, you just click that palette icon on the background image and it'll open up that section for editing. Um, so you can pick a color from the color box provided or, um, you know, if you have, uh, you know, some port, sort of uh, hex code or something to get exact color, you can put that in as well um, for your theme. So uh, the about section um, of your page is, is really your chance to explain what your organization is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in that section. It's all on page editing. So all you have to do is just click into that section and start writing. Um, you can add media to your story to kind of jazz things up. Um, just really utilize that in, inline text editor to add links. Um, you can add headers, bullet points, um, all sorts of stuff uh, to just really make it visually interesting for people coming to your um, organization's profile. Um, you know, and, and I, I mentioned uh, videos before, if you do have a promotional video, like it, this is a great place to add that in. Um, you know, those, those videos will get embedded in your story. So people coming to your profile can just view them right within that section. They don't have to go anywhere at all. Um, you can also add, you know, bulleted and numbered lists. So this about section is really where you can go in depth about your work and, and again, make that strong appeal to donors. Um, you know, tell them why your organization or school needs their support and show the impact of your work. Um, one really cool piece too about this section is you do have the ability to add a custom tab. Um, so if you do have extra info that you wanna share that you know doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, um, you can create a custom tab on your profile to add that information um, you know, while keeping everything organized and easy to find. So you, you really, you can add anything to your custom tab, um, you know, information about upcoming events, frequently asked questions, information about your staff, uh, acknowledgements, resources, et cetera, et cetera. Um, whatever you can think of, it's a um, free form section, so you can add whatever you want. Um, and you can create up to three tabs, so you can label those however you want, fill in whatever content you want, and just really, um, make your profile, uh, you know, as as interesting and um, comprehensive as possible, um, so that donors come, see the work you've put into it, can get the information they need uh, to feel compelled to make that donation. Um, the media gallery on your organization's profile is where you're going to be able to um, add additional images that you have. Uh, of your organization. Um, this spot is a really great way to visually show donors what your organization does and where funds are going. Um, one really cool thing is that you can connect um, your school or organization's Facebook or Instagram account. Um, so this, you know, this doing that will import the pictures that you already have on those accounts. So, you know, it, it not only provides additional content, but it also lets people come into your page know uh, that you have those social accounts so they can easily follow or like you. 
Um, and then you can also optimize your social share settings uh, within the settings section. Uh, basically what that means is you can standardize the social template. So whenever someone shares your campaign for Good edu Give Education, um, you can set a standard logo, blurb, um, even hashtags that populate whenever um, a supporter or donor spreads the word about you. So you kind of, it kind of gives you um, a little extra control over that. Checkout flow. So um, the next item that you'll want to customize um, is your organization's checkout flow. Um, so this is located within your fundraiser section on the dashboard. The checkout flow is what your donors experience when they actually make a, don a donation towards your organization. The, the first part to customize is going to be your checkout steps. Um, this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's profile page. Um, the checkout flow section gives you a lot of control over the donation process um, for your organization during the um, Give Education Giving Day. Um, it's going to allow you to uh, opt into collecting the information that you want from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up some custom suggested donation amounts, um, and you can add descriptions to kind of, you know, tie those amounts to items or services that your organization provides, which just strengthens your appeal to donate. Uh, and then the checkout steps within your checkout flow also allows you to preview the whole checkout process um, without actually making a test donation. So you can see what that final process looks like and use that to edit yourself if needed. The post checkout section within your checkout flow is where you're gonna go to set up your thank you page and customize your donation receipt. Um, both of which use that same text editor as that story section on your profile. So you can add text, links, a video or image. Um, you can also add a custom uh, button that tells donors, you know, where you'd like to go, uh, them to go next. So, you know, one idea would be, uh, for example, you know, asking them to sign up for your email list or um, checking out your school's website um, uh, if you have anything uh, current going on. Um, you can also customize your organization's donation receipt within this post checkout section. Um, this customization that you set appears above the tax deductible donation receipt that gets sent out automatically um, after a donor completes their donation on the site. So there's there's a lot you can do in that checkout flow tool to optimize your campaign and customize that checkout process for your donors. So I highly recommend taking the time um, to set this up. So you can, you can access reports um, on donations and disbursements in the report section of your dashboard. Um, clicking on that section is going to give you a submenu where you can choose from your all donations report. Um, there's a report on recurring donations um, as well as a donor retention report. Um, you can find the disbursements report here as well. So a lot of finance departments obviously get in on that. Um, the disbursements and donations reports are going to give you a lot of donor data um, so that you can reconcile your books after the giving day is over. Um, your donation report is going to be available to you in real time. Um, it's going to include information like donor name, email, any designations or dedication options that you've, um, you know, uh, decided to collect through your checkout process, uh, the gross and net amount of their donation, um, et cetera. You'll also, um, you'll also be able to tell like what page they donated to as well as lots of other information. Um, basically, the information you set up to collect during that checkout flow process is also going to show in your donation report. So, for example, um, if you turned on the option to collect phone numbers or addresses from donors, um, when you set up your checkout flow, those answers are going to show in your donation report. And then the disbursement section of your report center also allows you to see the, see the batch disbursement history. Um, you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, um, like which exactly which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, net amount included in that disbursement. Um, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer. Um, which is the recommended method since it allows fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, we can also send disbursements via check if that's what you'd prefer. Those get sent out once a month um, and there is a $5 administrative fee associated with check disbursements. So, um, you know, it's highly recommended that you sign up for EFT since it's free and you get your mo money um, faster. 
So um, the fundraising section on your dashboard is where you'll find that matching grants tool that I mentioned earlier. Um, so, you know, as I'm sure many of you know, um, and as Josh mentioned, having a matching grant from a donor or a corporate sponsor can, can really go a long way in driving donations. So I want to just make sure everyone's aware of the tool that Mighty Cause has specifically for matching grants. Um, a matching grant using this tool is something your organization secures and sets up on your own. Um, this tool allows you to display a matching grant that you've worked to secure on your organization profile. So the matching grants tool is a really versatile tool and you have a lot of options for how you structure your match. So while a lot of matches are one-to-one, -one, you know, it, where if someone gives that amount, that exact amount is matched. Um, with our tool, you can also do two to one, three to one uh, matches. You can match a percentage of each donation. Um, our matching grant tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is kind of choose how you want uh, to structure your match and then the tool will take it from there. Uh, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So um, you know, for instance, if, uh, you know, there's, let's say there's a prize available for the most individual donations during an hour, um, you know, you could say to your supporters, if you get 100 donations within the hour, then um, you get an additional $1,000 for your organization. Um, so, uh, you know, however you set your matching grant up, this, this tool really helps you drive donation volume and traffic um, to your organization for Give Education Day. Um, and then the matching grant tool also allows you to post multiple grants at the same time um, and also in sequence. So, um, you know, if, if you're fortunate um, to be able to secure several matching grants, you can set it up so that um, the grants fire one after another if you, if you wanted. So, you know, while that might sound like a lot, the tool itself is, is pretty user friendly and you, you have a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. So I would highly suggest just checking out the matching grant tool just to see your possibilities, start brainstorming, um, coming up with ways to uh, you know, secure your match um, to really make the most of it. Um, and then of course, you know, if you get overwhelmed by the possibilities or you've never done a matching grant before, just setting it up as a one-to-one -one match is definitely the simplest and easiest thing to do. And it, it's still, um, you know, ticks the boxes with uh, incentivizing your donors and, um, you know, uh, getting additional funds for your cause. So um, the last section on your dashboard is the settings. Uh, if you click settings, it opens a submenu where you can update your organization settings, um, customizing your organization's um, link uh, for Give Education. Um, you can manage your electron electronic fund transfer. Um, you can update your legal information if needed, customize your social sharing. Um, so the settings section is, is, you know, just comprehensive for all of the uh, just administrative things that you can do. Um, and this is also where you can uh, add or remove admins from your account as well. So uh, every account uh, comes with a few donation widgets that allow you to collect donations for Give Education um, Day right through your organization or school's regular website. So um, your tech person can embed that widget through a secure iframe on your website and it's gonna collect donations that get counted towards your campaign for Give Education. Um, the widgets will reflect the custom checkout flow that you've set up as well, so you know exactly what your donors are experiencing, um, whether they donate through your Give Education site or through a widget on your regular website. So um, th these widgets are definitely optional, but it's just another way that you, know, you can collect funds uh, for Give Education Day the way that you want, um, and you know, just kind of helps advertise that campaign uh, well too. So um, moving on from the dashboard uh, in your Mighty Cause account, I want to make sure that I uh, mentioned uh, mention again just those really great tools that you can use as you get ready um, for Give Education um, Giving Day, and that's going to be your organization uh, toolkit. So the toolkit's located on the homepage. Um, so if you go to give-education.com, um, click Resources, and then the toolkit will be uh, right there in the dropdown that appears. Uh, the toolkit has lots and lots of tips and tricks. It's got uh, FAQs, walkthroughs. Um, it also has templates that you can use for email and social media to you know, help get you inspired and, and figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, there's uh, you know, uh, 
checklists for uh, timelines. You, you, we, we really tried to make it as comprehensive as possible so that when you go there, you know exactly how to get started, the steps you should take to get started. Um, and that way, you know, you're not struggling as you kind of get, if, if this is your first giving day, um, it's not super hard for you to get it off the ground. Um, or if you've done giving days before, there's a lot of more in-depth information in there in the toolkit as well. Um, just really great social media guide um, to kind of give you additional resources um, if you have done it before. Um, the toolkit is also where you'll be able to find today's training recording. So um, definitely check out the toolkit if you haven't already and refer back to it as much as you want as you're planning your campaigns. It's there, it's ready for you to utilize. Um, we've put a lot of time and energy and effort into it. Um, and you know, we hope that it uh, just kind of gives you an idea for how the giving tail will go and then what you can do to prepare for it. Um, so as we wrap this up, um, I wanna make sure that um, all the support contact information is here for you to reference. Um, it, you know, we're all a really great resource before and during the giving day for anything campaign related. Um, we've got, you know, uh, a full support library for you at support at uh, support.mightycause.com. Um, lots of how to's, uh, walkthrough videos if you get stuck doing something. Um, you know, if you have general questions, uh, you can email. Uh, give-education at alumninations.com. Um, any technical questions, you can email the Mighty Cost team, support at mightycost.com. And the uh, Mighty Cost team is available Monday through Friday, nine to five um, for um, phone and email. And you can reach through email or our phone number is listed there as well um, for uh, anyone who would prefer a call. Um, and then before we get into questions, I just wanna plug our next webinar. Um, it's going to be Wednesday, March 3rd at noon central. Um, we're going to be discussing strategy regarding the tools within your Give Education account, um, as well as uh, email and social media tip, tips and tricks to uh, really help make uh, the most of the opportunity that Alumni Nations is giving you. Um, so you can sign up now for the next webinar. Um, just go to give-education.com um, and it's the um, registration links within the toolkit. Uh, so just click on resources, go to toolkit, and then you'll be able to see the spot where you can sign up to attend the next webinar. And of course, um, I, you know, for those of you on the webinar today who have not yet signed up to participate, um, I highly recommend doing it um, as soon as possible, just because, you know, you'll you'll be able to make the most out of your time um, in preparing uh, if you sign up uh, soon. So. Um, let us John, this is Carrie. Well, Can I jump in there for a quick second on your course. note? It's perfect. Yeah. Um, I just wanted the opportunity. Don is right. You know, if you haven't signed up um, and you know claimed your registration on the Give Dash Education website yet, please do so. We have we're very excited to announce today, and this literally is just hot off the presses as of a few hours ago. We were able to secure a six thousand dollar grant to help participation for for you the participants who sign up for give education um, how we how we will be distributing that is yet to come but there are participating prize money available or there is participating prize money available for you if you do sign up and you might be able to win something um, uh, through that so please consider joining us I think you know at a minimum if you sign up and you raise you know, a couple thousand dollars and you win one of our prizes, um, I think you'll set your organization up for great success. So very exciting news. And we'll be sending more information out about that shortly. Awesome. Thanks, Carrie. Um, it doesn't look like we have any questions, um, but I just want, um, you know, to throw out there again that these giving days are just a really, really great opportunity for um, marketing for your organization, um, engagement, supporter engagement for your organization. Um, you know, we, we basically try to package it in a way where you can easily get it off the ground, um, get it running. And, you know, we try to make it so there's not so much bandwidth on, you know, people on your team. We know everyone's pressed for time, especially in the current environment that we're in. And so, um, you know, we, we would love for you to participate uh, in, in the Give Education Giving Day so that you can really make the most of this um, marketing and engagement opportunity. And then like Carrie said, um, with the prizes too, it just 
um, it's just a really great opportunity uh, just to you know, provide new messaging, um, especially if you've never participated in a giving day before. Um, your supporters are um, going to be excited about it and um, interested, especially with that sense of urgency that I talked about earlier. Um, so, you know, if you haven't already registered, uh, please go ahead and do so now. Um, you'll get all of the information from us, um, next steps. You'll have plenty of time to kind of set up your campaign, strategize around it. Um, and then like we mentioned earlier, um, you can chat with anyone to be able to kind of brainstorm, um, you know, kind of kick ideas off of us, uh, things like that, um, just to help make your day a success and make sure that you are getting the most out of your, um, you know, uh, return on investment of your time. So um, this Give Education Day is just a really awesome opportunity, um, especially again, in the current environment, it's just really hard on teachers and students and families in general. And so being able to kind of support your, um, you know, your organization or your school uh, through this, through this process, um, it's all online. Uh, and it's just a really awesome opportunity from Alumni Nation. So uh, again, I highly recommend uh, signing up. And then of course, if you have any questions or need anything, we're here to help. Um, Carrie, I don't know if you have anything else that you wanna add. Um, let's see. I certainly don't. I think that's it. We look forward to seeing everybody get signed up and register and making this a very successful year for you. And then hopefully seeing you return in the years to come. And I just wanted to say thanks again to Josh. And if you have any questions about how Josh ran his program or what have you, I am certain that I can get in touch with him. Just don't hesitate to send me an email and we can help you out in any way that we can to make this a successful giving day for you. Um, it looks like we did have one question come in, um, so I will address that since we do have some time. Um, so um, this person says, I'm concerned about the timeline, especially to secure a matching gift. Um, great question. So obviously the matching gifts um, or, you know, the matching grants are totally optional. Um, they're, they're a great way for you to enhance your giving day, but they're definitely not required and lots of you know, organizations have um, had successful giving days without having a matching uh, grant. So, you know, if if this is your first time participating and, you know, just thinking about securing a matching grant with the timeline available is just too much, then, you know, definitely put it on the docket for next year, but don't um, worry about it for this year. Focus on um, emails, uh, creating messaging strategies, which again, all of that, there's templates and everything in the toolkit. So you can just, uh, plug and play. Um, we try to make it really, really easy. Um, but yeah, if you do, you know, if you do have the ability to secure a matching grant, that's awesome. But you know, maybe that's something that you focus on next year so that you're not feeling overwhelmed um, this year uh, and just kind of focus on getting the word out um, to your donors, letting them know when early giving starts, um, all of that good stuff. And Don, if I could piggyback on that, you know, the oftentimes I think things like this can can seem daunting. But if you think about some of the giving campaigns, or even you know the day after Thanksgiving or Black Friday or or Monday uh, Cyber Monday, and then Giving Tuesday, I think is what it is. On Facebook, so many people will just say, "Hey, I'm raising funds for this," and donors are just happy to even throw ten dollars, um, and we ten dollars at their organization. And so if you can almost take that type of marketing approach, as it's your first year. It's a grassroots marketing approach. You know, if you gain $500, $10,000, you know, either way, just getting it out that way would be um, important. And I think that that shouldn't, you know, many years, and I, I would ask Josh, but I suspect that the Central High Foundation's first year, they might not have had matching gifts. But if you get some movement this year, the next year or the next year, you can go to your corporate partners and say, hey, this past year, we've raised X dollars. We want a matching gift. Can you help us partner for Giving Day in 2022? And you, you have even that much more of a foundation to go ask for those matching gifts in year two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we will be discussing more on the next webinar, you know, tips to secure a matching um, gift and, you know, different email and social, uh, you know, strategies that you can take um, to make it easier on your team. Um, so again, I highly recommend attending the second webinar too, so you can kind of get that additional information and decide if it's something that you, uh, you know, want to pursue this year. 
Um, let's see. We did get one other question as well, um, which Carrie, you can probably answer this one. Um, what press slash promotion will there be from Alumni Nations? Um, or is it just my organization pushing slash promoting the day? Fantastic, great question. The success for your organization's donations are going to be come from the push that you are doing. Alumni Nations does not, um, if, if you are a member of Alumni Nations, we obviously can help you with your list. That's what we do and, and, and we can help you with that, but it's really about the promotion that you provide for yourself, uh, for your organization. We are here to support you in any way. Um, those were the only questions that came in. Um, of course, if anyone does have any other questions um, or thinks of anything later, uh, please don't hesitate to um, reach out. I will put our, uh, let me go back to the support. Um, so our support information is right there again. So if you think of something later or um, you know want just advice, uh, let us know. Um, Give-education at alumninations.com. Um, or if you've already signed up and have a technical question um, with your uh, organization account, you can email support at mightycause.com. Um, but again, uh, thank you so much everyone for attending. Um, and uh, we will post, I'll post the recording in the toolkit uh, later today. Uh, um, probably by end of day um, at the latest. Um, so you can review this at any time. Um, and uh, yeah, if anyone has any other questions, let us know. But we really appreciate your time today. And um, we're really excited um, and hope that you sign up for uh, Give Education. And um, yeah, everyone have a, a wonderful day.